This is Ruth, a Nigerian dwarf goat kid. <laughs> Her friend Sonia is a mini Nubian goat kid. They live at the Oregon Zoo's family farm with the rest of the herd. Oh, hi! Hi! And sometimes they meet the other animals. <laughs> Today we're gonna go see Kachimba the aardvark, and actually he's gonna come and see us. We just need to walk through the door to get into the barn to meet Kachimba. <laughs> Pause and look! Yes! We're gonna, oh, we know this area. Do, 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 do. excited to see how the goats react. The aardvark is a much bigger animal. A lot of people think they're kind of goat sized, but Kuchimba is about 150 pounds. Aardvarks are known for eating ants and they have a long tongue that they can stick right into an ant hill and slurp up all the ants. He is like nothing else in the entire world. Your house cat is more closely related to a walrus than an aardvark is to any other animal on the planet. They have shovel-like claws, and they're so strong that they can dig through rock that's as hard as cement. Kuchimba has yet to experience a lot of other animals, so this will be a really great encounter for him. He'll get to see the goats, and he'll get to interact with people he hasn't seen before. We're not gonna have him on a leash, just so he has a lot of freedom to explore and uh, try new things. We will have the goats on harness and a leash and, and lots of keepers around. And we'll kind of hang to the side and let Kuchima get used to being in our area. <gasps> I think he was kind of sniffing the floor, getting used to the smells, and then he noticed the goats and he became really interested. Ruth noticed him first, a little bit from a distance, and then she kind of held back because it's a large animal. <laughs> Aardvarks are kind of meant to do one thing, and that's eat ants. So it was interesting to see him actually interact with another animal. At one point, Kuchimba noticed the goats, and he, I think he maybe picked up a scent trail. <laughs> so he was kind of sniffing around and then he actually started to follow them a little bit. I think he got really curious. So that was really fun to see. The goats really reacted and they clearly saw something they'd never seen before. So I call this encounter a success. Can I give you a big hug? Yes. Yeah. Oh, here it comes again. <laughs> <laughs>